Healthcare professions are hot, and the front door to a healthcare career is at Columbus State. Everyone knows about nursing, but there are nearly two dozen other healthcare career paths to choose from. One of them, medical assisting, is one of the fastest growing professions today. Plus, it's offered at both the downtown campus and the Delaware campus. A medical assistant is an ambulatory care specialist. Um, they are people who work in a doctor's office in ambulatory care settings, uh, urgent care centers. They take vital signs, they draw blood. They do so many different things, both clinical and administratively. The program builds clinical skills and administrative skills. It has small classes offering one-on-one -on -one attention along with the latest diagnostic equipment. It's got a bright outlook, really, really good. Um, with all the baby boomers getting older, we need people in the medical offices helping. Surgical technology, or surg tech as it's known, is available as a three-semester certificate program or a five-semester associate degree. It gets rave reviews as a career choice from recent grads. Surgical technology is an amazing field. You get to see a lot of different surgeries, um, amazing surgeries. For me, I work in labor and delivery, and um, I get to see babies being born. I get to see miracles every day. But I also like to assist our surgeons, and in different situations, um, we have different emergency situations. So it, it's very rewarding. And that's what I love about it. Graduate Anna Nazarova now works in labor and delivery at the OSU Medical Center. I did not have a problem finding a job. By the time I graduated, I had three different offers in three different departments. Um, but students have to remember that when they're in the clinical sites, they give an impression to not only to their instructors, but to people who percept them, to the doctors, to surgical techs, to nurses. And that way, they can already be um, looking for a job. Over in their respiratory care program, students get on-the-job training in actual hospitals and medical facilities in central Ohio. Before taking that step, however, they learn on state-of-the-art equipment, including human patient simulators in the Columbus State Labs. Their job is to work with high-tech equipment um, in the intensive care unit to monitor patients and to maintain breathing equipment uh, while patients are either recovering from either a critical illness or, or an injury. All of our students will go through the human patient simulator as a part of their training. Uh, they'll start out very, doing very simple skills like monitoring the patient's vital signs and lung sounds, and then they'll progress into more sophisticated skills such as monitoring life support equipment. With the ventilator, you know, that's, this gives us hands-on learning. With uh, the suctioning, you know, we actually go through putting the saline in and suctioning, suctioning the patient out. Um, to clear the, the, uh, the artificial airway. You learn a lot um, and the instructors um, are fantastic. They work with you, um, they, they make sure you, you have all the tools that you need to succeed. The college labs guarantee the program instruction is current and they help identify trends in healthcare so the transition to actual medical labs is seamless. Most of our graduates go right into uh, employment, uh, so they're able to find jobs in the area hospitals or in various areas that hire respiratory therapists, it might be sleep labs or pulmonary diagnostic laboratories also. Dustin Holloway was able to transition directly into a full-time job at an area hospital after getting his degree. For students who are really on the fast track to start a new career, a popular choice is pharmacy technology. It's a 10-week non-credit course helping students prepare for the National Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam, which qualifies them to assist in a pharmacy. The, the class definitely was to the T what you needed to know for the certifications. Derek Hay had a job a month after finishing the program. I felt like these are the best instructors I've had anywhere so far. Um, they're there because they want to be there. They love pharmacy and they love teaching and more so than any other interaction I've had with a professor or a teacher, they really want you to reach out to them if you needed help and they were there specifically for you and them being so involved with their job and loving their jobs, it, it made it fun and easier for them to teach you. Many of the healthcare programs have their own application criteria. Some departments have information sessions to walk you through the process. Check with the department you're interested in. Healthcare is very important in Central Ohio, but obviously we have large employers. But we also have research. We also have a lot going on, new fields, you know, for somebody who's interested in kind of what's happening in the, 
healthcare industry, this is a good place to be because there is opportunity to learn new things and for new things to be generated and for new ideas to be followed up and for tests to be run and for people to be involved in cutting edge medical care. See a Columbus State Advisor or check out all career options at cscc.edu.